Welcome to Tech the Dhamir. In this video, we are going to learn about row rank function in Kusto. Row rank function returns the current row's rank in a serialized row set. The row index starts by default at 1 for the first row and it increments by 1 whenever the provided term is different than the previous row's term. So let's go ahead and take a look up so that we will understand visually what exactly that row rank function can do for us. We have seen in the previous videos using row number. So if you are interested to see those demos, please go ahead and watch that video. So I'm creating a table with some sample data that has our um, sale person names, region and uh, other information. So let's uh, take a look on this data. So what I'm doing here, I'm saying total sale, order by region. So I'm getting all the records from total sale table and order by region. Here I have North America, Europe and Asia. Now think about that. In the last video, I showed you how to put uh, uh, IDs there. So I use the row number function where I showed you for each of the records. So one, two, three, four, and all the way keep going it. Now uh, here, what we are going to do as we have different region, we would like to assign a unique number to each of the region. So North America, I would like to assign one for Europe, it should be two and for Asia, it should be three. If there is any other region, so it should automatically increment. So that can be done with the row number. So here, what you are going to do, First, uh, your uh, result set, whatever the query you want to write it here. Then uh, I wrote extend. Uh, that means I would like to add an extra column here. And then uh, I am going to give the name called rank. Then I use equal to sign and set the row underscore uh, rank and then provide the column for which I would like to rank. Now I'm going to go ahead and execute and you're going to see very beautiful uh, ranked uh, numbers here for each of the region. So you see right there, North America, all the North Americas are assigned one. And then for Europe, assigned two. For Asia, it is assigned three. Oh, if I would have more, then it would assign the next number. So it start with one and go to the next. Now, there is a, uh, another thing I would like to do. Maybe I would like to assign a unique number with the country and a region. So let's see if we can try to do that. So if I do something like that, region, comma, country, now, I was uh, uh, experimenting this one, but I did not uh, knew it does not accept uh, more arguments. So see right there, function expect only one argument. So that's uh, one of the problem. So to overcome this problem, I just kind of use a string and cat here and uh, uh, played with this one. So here, what I'm doing, I'm getting a total sale extend. So I'm saying, get me all the column from total sale. Also add another column by using extender. That means adding a new column. And then that name is going to be region and country equal to string functions and uh, concatenate region. And then give some space between that and add country to it. Let's execute that and see what we get. Here you see that I'm getting North America, then USA. So it is concatenating region and then country. So for Europe, you can see that for Europe, Germany, then I have Europe, France and all that. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, sort it out. So then uh, at least you see North America in one and uh, then Europe and then Asia. So you see that we have North America first, then country name, then we have Europe region, then country again, then Asia region and country again. Okay. Now what I would like to do, I would like to uh, give the rank according to this value now. So that's possible. So I use extend key here again because this is all my results set coming through. I use extend and then set rank equal to row rank and then use this column that I just created in the first line right there. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use it here. So let's execute this together. And now what we have there, so North America, USA, because it's the same value, so it is a one. And uh, let's see for Europe, we have Europe, uh, Germany here, so it will give the row rank two. For France, it give three. As the value is not changing, it is given the same number. Once the values change, it's gonna go to the next value. See, for Pakistan, it gave a number four, and uh, for India, it gave number five, even there are multiple values. So this is how you will be using uh, uh, row rank function in Kusto to generate uh, the numbers for your specific uh, column values and kind of groups uh, uh, how you will assign unique number to each of the group. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.